I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. Today, I am here to give y'all my 2024 NASCAR Cup Series driver lineup predictions. We're going to start off with Stuart Haas Racing. In the 4 car, we got Josh Berry. In the 10 car, we got Michael McDowell. The 14 car is going to be driven by Chase Briscoe from Mitchell, Indiana. And the 41 car is going to be Ryan Priest. I believe he's going to put together a phenomenal second half of the 2023 season. Hendrick Motorsports is going to be the same with their four drivers, Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, William Byron, and Alex Bowman. And I believe Bowman, this is going to be a big year for him because if he does not perform well, he can very well be out of a ride in 25. Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin in the 11 car. The 18 car is going to be brought back to action with John Hunter Nemechek, Bell in the 20, and Ty Gibbs in the 54. Martin Truex Jr., I believe, will retire. 23-11 Racing will have Bubba Wallace in the 23 car for another season. Tyler Reddick will be back in the 45 car. And the 67 will be Kurt Busch. I got a lot of confidence he will be back within a year's time. Now, Petty GMS Racing, which was rebanded to the Legacy Motorsports Club, they're going to be a Toyota next year, and they're going to have Gregson Jones, Johnson, and Jensen Button. And the 78 car, BJ McLeod, Live Fast Motorsports. It's going to be BJ McLeod, obviously, Anthony Alfredo, and Josh Balicki for the road courses. I believe Alfredo is going to be driving more of the cup races in 2024 than he does right now. RFK Racing. Brad Keselowski is going nowhere. If he were to go anywhere, it'd be retirement. And the 17 car is going to be Chris Buescher. They're just a good combination, shake and bake right now. Rick Ware Motorsports. You got the 15 car and the 51. The 15 car is going to be an all-star ride. You got J.J. Yaley, Cole Custer, and Haley Deegan. The 51, however, like I said, it's going to be full-time. With one driver, and that driver is going to be Riley Herbs. I think he's ready for cup. He's going to have a learning curve, but I think he's ready for it. 34 car, Zane Smith. 36 car is going to be a car that's driven on Talladega, Daytona, Atlanta. Eric Amarola. 38 car, Todd Gilliland. Todd Gilliland's having a phenomenal year so far in 2023. He's hoping to go full-time with one team next year. Now we got Trackhouse. Ross Chastain in the one car. 91 of Jordan Taylor. 91 of Kimi Raikkonen. And a 99 of Daniel Suarez. And if Suarez cannot perform well in 2024, he very well may find himself in the free agency market. Now we got Colic. I believe the 13 car is going to be part-time with Chandler Smith. The 16 car will be A.J. Allmendinger. The 31 of Justin Haley. Allmendinger is confirmed for next year. Justin Haley's not. But the way things are going, it's looking like he's going to be back for many years to come. Now we got Penske with the Wood Brothers, because the Wood Brothers is technically a Penske car right now, and you're going to have Austin Cendrick in the 2, Blaney in the 12, Burton in the 21, Logano in the 22. Logano, I believe, is going to have a breakout year in 2024. Now we're going to move on to RCR. They're going to have two full-time drivers with Austin Dillon and Kyle Busch. And they're going to have two part-time drivers because I believe Ty Dillon is going to be out of a ride at Spire Motorsports at the end of this year. And old Pop Pop is not going to want him in the free agency market for long. So he's going to give him a couple opportunities in the 29 alongside Austin Hill. Now we got Spire and JTG Daughtery Racing. Corey LaJoy in the 7. 47 of Stenhouse Jr. 77 of Austin Hill. Josevar in the 77. I believe Austin Hill will go full-time with two different uh, teams in 2024. 